All right, onward we go. Where's Salsa going? Saying hello, hello Salsa. I got some orders packed up there. I got some orders packed up down there. Salsa is now going to get fired up and be upset over there. Um, doing laundry at the same time. But these are all the hats I still have remaining from that huge hat lot. You guys might remember I picked up like eight boxes of hats. Uh, each box probably was like a little bit over eh, about what's in here. So we're down to one bin. Very, very nice. Took about a, a year to get that far. But uh, I did sell one hat from that lot overnight for a whopping eight dollars however it is goodwill bin day goodwill outlets uh heading back to the outlets i haven't been there since last summer i believe uh it had to be last summer i don't think i went there at all in the fall but heading back to the bins let's try to make it a fun one try to find some treasure it's about an hour and a half away so let's make it a good one let's do it all right we made it goodwill bins <laughs> Clothes always seem to be difficult. And that's because they're always mixed. It's always men's mixed in with females, mixed in with kids. What is this? Nothing. I don't think this thing's worth anything, but it's kind of cool. Put it aside for a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna look at these gloves quick. There's a guy over here who has a bunch of gloves. I'll so see what, yeah, that's a nothing glove. This one, also nothing glove. Somebody actually put some really nice lotion on these. Glove oil, they actually feel really nice. Usually these gloves feel like disgusting. But these are just your run and mill entry level gloves, so I don't know where that oh here he is. I'll ask him if he wants them. This one might be a little bit better. It's not an A2000, but it's an A2234. But they're not great. I thought they might be an A2000 or A2400. 
And this one might be a, uh, I thought this might be a hard hide, but it's not. Uh, Josh, who is, uh, his, I think his stepmom, watches the channel. He gave me this awesome jacket. It's a little beat up, but I think I can probably clean up a little bit enough to that I can wear it. Uh, so I really appreciate that. We'll do something with it. It's a little bit too homemade for me. It's still kind of a cool box. I ended up giving that guy the baseball gloves. He wore them. I don't know what I was grabbing there. That was that could have been weird. Lots of cups and plates. That's why I feel like all these thrift stores are just cups and plates. What is this? Handcraft, hand carved. Looks like almost like a little box. It's kind of neat. The only thing is it weighs about three pounds. So it's going to be like six bucks. It doesn't even fit in there. It's just, it's just like lays there. It's probably broken somehow. Oh, it's chipped. Oh, this is nice. It's missing the original lid. Yeah, it's not. There's like a clear lid on that. Wow, that would have been a nice piece to have. I think this is one of those... Pyrex ones. Uh, yeah, it's one of those gold stamp Pyrex. The gold stamp has been worn off. Really a shame about this depression glass. It's a nice Vineyard Vine shirt. Uh, unfortunately, it's all pilled here. I think I saw a paint mark. Right there is that. No, it's the iron. You got a little mark there. That's pretty dirty. Very, very pilled over here. That's a shame. That's like twenty-five, thirty dollars right there. But with all this wear on it, it drops it down to probably around eight or ten. And that's small is all small, small. All right, let's see what we got. We got a soccer jersey here. Is that chili? I'm not sure. Is there a name on the back, or is it just... Oh, no, it has a name. No, it doesn't. It has just a number. That's a good filler jersey. Uh, it's just a very simple Philly shirt. Size medium. That's all right. Got a gray sweatshirt for myself. I think I put this back. I thought it was kind of cool, though. It looks like you get stickers or something. You put stickers over it, because you see, like, Montana has a sticker... Pennsylvania has a sticker, but like Ohio doesn't. Just kind of cool thing. Put that back. Um, Under Armour bucket hat. Still in pretty good shape. Grab that. Orioles and uh, Under Armour shorts. It's so not too bad. Not too bad. All right, this is all 69 cents a pound. It looks like. Let's see if there's anything. Is that 69 69 cents? Oh, what do I see? There we go. Grab that. All right, it's been a long day of driving, but we finally made it back. Uh, I did stop off at a couple other places. Um, stopped off at, I think it's called Fetsy's. I think it's called Fetsy's Flea Market. I don't even know what town that was. By Milford Township, I believe. Um, flea Market, indoor flea market. Kind of like an antique store. Antique mall, I should say. And a flea market combined. Um, really just a bunch of booths. booths. Um, pretty cool things. I mean, there was definitely an array of things. Probably should have got like maybe a minute of footage. But... Uh, also, a lot of stuff that I absolutely don't need, and I think a lot of people don't need, and that's why it's still probably there. But uh, I thought maybe in the future I might do a video with another antique mall since the one in Phillipsburg closed. But uh, this is what we did today for Goodwill. So I did pick up a couple shirts. 
awesome jacket here. We got that one Pyrex bulb. Very shocked this was still there. Um, shocked for two reasons. The first reason is, I guess this uh, this is the pink gooseberry, I believe. I guess they uh, someone dropped this off and donated it to the Goodwill outlet store individually and not to Goodwill itself because I feel like at any Goodwill, this would not last longer than a couple days, let alone a month on an average Goodwill shelf. It also didn't have any stickers like it was for sale at a, uh, a typical Goodwill. Got this also, which I believe this is the Fonz. Somebody had it for $10 at a yard sale. I believe somebody probably just dropped this off at the thrift store, at the Goodwill Outlet store. And that's one of the weird things with this store. We also have a starter Ottawa Center's jacket. Josh, who watches the channel, gave me this. He doesn't do clothes, and he knew I did clothes. Uh, this, he asked me, like, oh, is it worth anything? And I was like, it's worth something in better condition. For some reason, starter design do these checkered designs. And I never really thought, like, hey, look, at this stuff, which is so brittle, if this thing comes a, comes apart, it's going to look pretty rough. And that's exactly what happened here. It's all broken. All the stitching's broken. Uh, lots of stains here. This one also has a bunch of stains here. So to resell this, not really worth it. Um, if you live by Ottawa, someone probably would buy it around here. You might buy it, like, at a flea market or a yard sale, but throw us on eBay, you're not getting more than 15 or 20 bucks for it. And to ship this and to go through the whole asshole for someone to just say, hey, guess what? It's in too rough a shape. It's not really worth it. So I'm going to end up wearing it for a bit, and then I'll probably end up bringing it to the flea market, but it's not going online. And, of course, I grabbed this one basketball, which is actually in really, really good shape. It's called Havoc Street Ball. I don't know, it's a really nice basketball uh, for a basketball guy, but a uh, very nice basketball around. Maybe I'll even just sell that outright because someone can probably use that. Uh, it's a very, very neat piece there. Uh, but overall, another very fun day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yet another treasure hunt. Goodwill bins always treat me right. Uh, and I'll catch you guys next time. If you guys uh, enjoy the video, hit the like button. Subscribe down below for more treasure hunts just like this. And until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.